Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now you might notice something a little bit different. I've got my high bike All Mountain 7 out the garage. I've been riding the like for a long time and I absolutely love that bike but I thought let's change things up today, get the, the All Mountain back out and have a little shred on this. But that isn't the only new thing here today. I've got a hat on which says bike day and if you guys follow me on Instagram you would have seen I released my bike day collection yesterday and I'm so excited about this one. I've got this hat which you can see here, beanie, which is perfect for this time of year, keeps you nice and warm but I've also got a keychain. So here's the keychain then, it says bike day on this side and on this side and it's in this lovely red colour and as you can see the bike day text is in like a gloss black colour. At the moment we've just got these two products in the collection but I'm hoping that in time we can add to it. So if you're interested then I will leave the link in the description for the website and you can purchase this, it's an ideal Christmas present for someone as well. Right, I can't ride in my hat, so I'm going to have to take that off and swap it for my lovely helmet because we're at Twisted Oaks today and they've got a load of new lines here which look unreal to ride and I'm so excited to give them a go, so I think we should head over there and check them out. Right, we've come over to the new section and it's actually so insane. So there's three options. We've got the blue line, which is what we're going to try today. You've also got the red line here, which is called 23 Jump Street. And then you've got the black line, which is actually insane. I've seen loads of people send in this line, which is so cool to see. And of course, I want to I wanna get involved and try it myself. But we're going to save that for another video because this is going to be one hell of a progression for me. Look at the size, I don't know if you can even see that, of this drop. And then it goes into a couple of gap jumps there and then into the wow tail. And then it goes fully into like huge jumps, huge kickers. And I actually think the kicker is the biggest kicker in this part of the country or maybe even in the whole of the UK, which is so cool. But what we're gonna focus on today is the easier options and show you guys through those lines. So let's start off with the blue line. I think Tom, who's Hello. here as well. Yeah, I'm here. You're gonna follow me through it, aren't you? Yes, yeah, follow you down the blue line. <laughs> What's so funny? It <laughs> it's just a good day to be alive, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like there's something you're not telling me. Anyway, right, let's get on with the riding today and I'm gonna put the GoPro on Tom and he's gonna follow me down the line. Right, we're at the start gate for the blue line. This is Jake and Elwood. And I think we should send it. Let's go. Go on and show us what it's about. Let's do it. Dropping in. Jake and Elwood, the new blue. It's actually incredible for all level of riders because there's two options. You can do the berms or there's a split that goes to the jumps. I'd imagine we're probably about to hit the jumps. But you know, either are good. Yo! It's like a big downhill pump track. Nice, well done. Thank you. That's cool. That was sick. That was really cool. It's so, so nice and flowy. There's a few jumps on it, which I want to get with the big camera in a second. And this bike's actually feeling so good. I just need to get used to the extra weight again and the extra suspension. It's funny because the like here is 140 travel and when I first got on it, I was like, oh no, it's really stiff. And now I found myself cranking up the suspension on my all mountain to totally solid because that's obviously just what you get used to. But after a few goes, I'm sure I'll want the suspension back. But look at this, this is the last jump on the black line. And this is the one that I think is the biggest kicker in the UK or the biggest jump certainly, but look at that. Whoa, my God, actually incredible i actually don't think i've ever seen anything quite like that in all my life i don't really know i mean 
if I was coming up to that all I would want to do is pull the brakes not jump it <laughs> but I think Tom's gonna film a video on this line um, so you'll see see him in action there Tom just film me up against the kicker so we can show people how big it is so I'm five foot five five foot six I think and look Oh, have you ridden that? Yeah. 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 What does it feel like? Uh, yeah, it's big. Like it's just like jumps at that size are funny because um, obviously it's a tall ramp and you almost feel like you're losing speed. Like the speed you think you need to go for it is probably wrong because by the time you make it to the top of the lip, you've mm. lost. You know, you got to have a lot of speed to even get up. Get it. up it. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, so it's just okay. super, super fast. But it's nice and gentle. I mean, it's just a jump, isn't it? Yeah. At the end of the day. Um, jump. I'm gonna go on the landing. Okay. Right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get some shots of the blue line from the side so you guys can properly see what it's all about. Hopefully I can brush up on my own skills after a few runs through it and actually start clearing some of the jumps and going a bit quicker through the berms and stuff. And then we'll see about going to the red line. They've got some pretty big kickers. Let me just quickly run over there now. They've got some pretty big jumps on the red line, but they're, they're actually not big. I think I've hit bigger jumps, but the, the lips are so steep, which when you approach it, you're like, oh my gosh. But this is one of the jumps on the red line. This is a hip. As you can see, there's another one there. And that's the landing of another jump, which is insane. The, these jumps have been built so well. They've been done by the guys from gate 23, um, who, when they had their own spot built insane dirt jumps and now they're building here which is so so sick than I actually did. I don't even think I lifted off the ground. But that's really fun. It's actually running a little bit slow today, but the good thing about that line is, the more you ride it, the more places you notice where you can pump to get speed. But that's literally like my fourth or fifth time down the line. And also as well, I've got more suspension, so that's probably sucking out my speed as well. And I'm getting used to a, my old bike again don't want to have too many excuses but yeah it all plays a part into it more than you actually realize but i think what we should do now is have a little look at the red line and at least do like a little sighting lap down it to show you guys what the guys here at twisted oaks have built because it is actually incredible the road trail for me is still a work in progress i'm slowly ticking features off down the line figuring out the lines and the speed and all of that stuff as well. So I'm going to save that for a separate video because I think it would be cool to focus one whole video on this line because it is epic and there are some really progressive features on it as well. But for the purposes of this video, which is essentially giving you guys a tour of what is new at Twisted Oaks, Tom, who has just arrived actually just on time, is going to take you guys for a quick lap through 23 Jump Street. Right viewers, you're now on board with me. Car is there, look, smiling away. 23 Jump Street. Let me show you what it's all about. So it starts off with these berms and the shark fin there, which is sick because, again, it's all about carrying the speed on this line. Then you've got like a racer there, which then goes into a step up, Whew! which is nice. Then Manny down, just dodged that puddle today. Round, now I jump that to Manny landing. And we've got a nice steep hip there. And then this one, that's just so good. So much air time, then we jump that. Then we've got this little jump down here to finish with a semi. Nice. There we go, 23 Jump Street. It's been my pleasure. There we go then, we're back at the car and the sun is rapidly setting now. We're well into the depths of winter, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you guys could see what the new trails are like here at Twisted Oaks because I actually really really enjoyed riding them and like I said 
We'll be back for another video once I've gotten used to riding the red trail and we'll do a full progression session on there as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you're interested in the bike day merch then these are now available to buy on the store. We've got the hat and we've got the key ring as well. So check it out and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way